Hey, welcome to this Nations at War digital gameplay video. If you love platoon level tactical games, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Hey, welcome. It's time to play Nation is at War Digital. Yes, Waz has been incredibly fortunate and gotten a copy of Nations at War Digital before the general release. And I can't tell you how grateful I am to the folks at Lock and Load Publishing for offering this to me, this opportunity to see it and play with it uh, before the game hits the market for everybody. So today we're going to do a first look. I think we're going to skip the tutorials and kind of jump straight into the um, actual game. I think I might do a little bit of that. <laughs> hey, did you see the options screen? Okay, we're not going to screen edge so I don't get crazy. We're going to leave all the rest of that alone. So let's go ahead before we get into it and go through you know, this screen real quick. Well, there's a tutorial. 20, 30 minutes, you can go through it. If this is something totally new to you, it's probably worthwhile. Multiplayer, I am excited for multiplayer and I find this fascinating. There's old Waz. There's actually seems to be a, a, a server somewhere all set up and ready to go for this game. I don't know whether it's a Steam server and this is just a skin for it. I, I don't know. I, I've not had an opportunity to uh, arrange a multiplayer game. Uh, I will as soon as I can. Um, load game options. We already saw options because I, you know, got bothered by the level of the music. So, we'll jump into the single player but before we do, I'll do a couple things. One, okay, we've got the, you know, the YouTube standard ritual. If you like what you're seeing, you know, want to see more, then please consider subscribing, liking, sharing with your friends. Those things help the channel in a big way. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Tell me what you'd like to see. And if you really love it, consider tossing me a little love. There's a link in the description to buy me a cup of coffee. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is jump out of here just momentarily and look at the PDF of the rules. Now they're in-game rules and we'll look at that when we get in there. But the uh, PDF that you can download at Lock and Load Publishing I think is uh, it's prettier, easier to read, can be printed, and there's a lot to learn. So. Let's take a quick look at that, and uh, then we'll jump into the game. All right, it's a, there's a lot here, and we're not going to go through the entire rule book. I think, in fact, we're just going to kind of stare at this one page to get a feel for some of these numbers. The counters are really busy. There's a lot of stuff going on there. Now, if you are not a board gamer, if you don't have a background in board gaming, then it might seem to be a little overwhelming. Now, I do have a background in board gaming. Uh, 50 years ago this summer, I started serious board gaming with a copy of Panzer Blitz. Uh, anniversary in June. I'm going to have to bake a cake. And even with that background, these counters are really busy. So let's take a quick look at what these things mean. Full strength counters. Uh, you have a, a, a colored line horizontal, a reduced strength has a white line. Now, AP firepower is up here, and apparently the red number is the firepower, and if you look over here, the range would be three, and the roll, the two roll equal or higher, is six. Uh, for HE firepower, the... Um, High, the uh, firepower is represent the number of dice that you roll. So here we roll two for AP. Here we roll two for HE. And the range is two. And the equal to or higher to hit is six. Okay, so, you know, one in six chance. Uh, for air power, which we won't be seeing, there's the, uh, again, the... Uh, Firepower, which is three, the number of dice you roll, and the 
equal to or higher to roll to get a hit is four. AA firepower works the same way. Uh, over here we get to see the armor factor. The armor factor is the number of D6 rolled when determining how many of the attacker's hits can be ignored. If it's got that number, then you must roll that number or higher to ignore a single hit, which would be in this case five, right? Morale determines the mental confidence and enthusiasm of a group of soldiers uh, in the throes of combat. Okay. And the die on a headquarters represents the ability of leaders who command soldiers to use their leadership to help direct combat actions. So having leaders in hex is apparently a very good thing. Now there's a lot more in here. Uh, Command range is a big deal. This is something we need to pay attention to. It represents the distance to the hexes the headquarters can control the actions of the platoon. If you're outside of that, you got to roll every turn to see if you are in command. Movement factor uh, here for that particular unit is a two. The assault factor is a three, number of d6 you roll when assaulting. Augmented factors, apparently you get a little plus sign, you get some kind of automatic, you know, I'm not sure what to make of that. And then it shows that this unit is a attached unit and that's defined by scenario. So you can see the, the rules that you download are beautiful. They're just, just a gorgeous set of rules. And this is very much a board game thing for those of you who have not spent a lot of time in it. Now, you don't got to go through this to play the game. Uh, it'll help, but you don't have to. And we're not going to go through, I don't know how many pages there are, a lot. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm at 65. Okay, so it's over 60 pages. 64 pages is up to the glossary before you get to the index. That's a bunch. We're not going to do that. What we're going to do now is jump back into the game and get into an example of play and see how this all works uh, in real life. Well, okay, let's do this. We're going to play the on nuts scenario. Uh, okay, enemy AI looks good. It's a uh, it's Bastogne scenario, so we're going to have Winter and 101st Airborne and uh, Germans of the German 15th Panzer Grenadier Division. So let's get her started and we'll see how this sucker plays. What do you say? All right, so the Germans are slapping their units into their deployment zone, which is along the edge of the map. And let's take a look around the... Uh, Around the table here, we got messages which we don't need, so let's make it go away. Objectives: stop enemies from reaching the west edge. Uh, they got to get three off the west edge, and we can't lose three units. Okay, well we know that. Let's get rid of that. Clean things up a little bit. The most important thing <clears throat> that we can learn before we get started here, other than the fact that I'm still suffering from whatever's going on in this air, it's tearing me up. Cough, cough. <laughs> This is your opaque container where the uh, chits for uh, each turn's sequence of play or who gets to play are thrown into uh, and, and drawn from. So our, uh, <laughs> our opaque container is this little rack of chits. And uh, the way it works, if you draw an end turn, the first one, well, that's set aside. The next time you draw an end turn, the turn ends. In the meantime, you can draw either the uh, U.S. or uh, the German chit, and uh, that's the side that gets to play. So it's very cool. What that means is that there's a lot of replayability. A turn could last a, quite a while, or it could end rather quickly. Uh, <clears throat> you could come into a turn and pick up end turn, end turn. Nobody gets to do anything. You, know, you could come into a turn, pick up, let's say, uh, the Germans, and then in turn, in turn, and the Americans don't get to play. So that's kind of, that makes for a lot of replayability. Now, there's obviously a little uh-oh on the map. It's going to have to get squared away. Let's take a look. We have all these guys to deploy in our deployment area. 
is not displayed. What am I? To, well, that's interesting. Normally it gives me, I mean, I know what it is. It's these three rows. There's some reason I'm not seeing it. All right, well, we can't place a headquarters by itself. That probably is it. Ah, it's not these three rows. It's these three rows. Yeah, you can't place a headquarters by itself. It has to be placed with another unit. So we'll place an infantry platoon there and a headquarters there. Now, the Germans have some pretty awesome artillery, so we want to be careful not to get too many units in uh, close proximity, but it's kind of difficult to do and still play. <laughs> uh, I kind of like putting the mortars here. <clears throat> I'd also like to have them further away and not so vulnerable. Really, I've, I've thought about this and played it a bunch of times and I don't see a lot better ways to do this. So we'll put them there. Now, one thing that's a little bit frustrating in setup is that once you've clicked on a guy and you've placed him, you're done. You cannot say, oh, no, I didn't mean that. I would like to see that changed. All right, this guy's got a command radius of five. One, two, three, four, five. That'll be our reserve unit on that side of the road. Um, I'm going to put a para-infantry there, a para-infantry there, 57 millimeter anti-tank gun there. And one more para infantry up there is the reserve unit for this side of the road. The support weapons, which extends your range, in this case, soft, you know, HE firepower range. Actually, I think it extends both of them. Range, uh, the range for HE and AP. Uh, we're going to give one of them to the guy with the headquarters unit and one there and then since i've got these any tank guns sitting out here in the open we'll give an improved position i suspect these are going to be serious targets for the uh eight for the artillery <clears throat> so now the german gets in this case it's not random it's it's one of the uh, scenario uh setup uh conditions that the germans draw their chit so that we don't have the germans possibly stuck on the baseline for a turn. Now we're getting an opportunity to uh, opportunity fire. And the only one that has a chance is the anti-tank gun. So we'll click on that and then we come out here and it says units passing through hex it's a Panzer IV. Back here it's the Tiger and the Panzer IV. Well we're going to shoot at the Panzer IV because what would be really cool would be to smack that HE or that HQ unit won't happen with this guy, but we could maybe get started. We'll see. Fire there. I'm not sure why it said the tiger. We got a possible hit. Oh, it didn't scratch. Oh, nice. We should get a disruption out of that. The way it works, he's firing back. No, it's headquarters check. I take that back. The way it works. First ding disrupts you, the second ding reduces you, the third ding destroys you. So rolling off hits is important. All right, the um, 60 millimeter mortar can fire here at either armored infantry or armored infantry, so I don't care. Confirm. He rolled his one die, didn't hit a six, he misses. Now, we need to, sh I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, there's something going on here that needs to be discussed, although we won't be using it in uh, this round. Well, okay, it's going to have to wait. I was going to discuss fate points. All right, we pulled our chit. Um, I don't know if you saw it, but the when you saw the dice being rolled, there's a little yellow streamer. We'll see it here in a little while, and then we'll talk about fate points. I don't really have a full appreciation of them, but uh, it, what I do understand is that they're very cool. And the next time I do a video, we'll be messing with them. All right, barrage. We have two barrages for the game. Off-map artillery. And if I drop it here, I, get, I can affect all seven of those red highlighted hexes. And maybe if we're lucky, 
get another hit on the uh, it'd be very cool to destroy the Panzer IV because that would destroy the headquarters and then the Germans would be screwed so let's take a shot at it Ooh, good hit I think a one misses all right we got two possible hits on the Tiger he rolled one of them off he's disrupted and it goes around four hits oh baby they rolled off one of them let's see how that distributes I'll have to look at that it looks like yeah it was just oh <laughs> I'm sorry I got excited rolled one of them off I don't think it'll matter well here's the re here's the reality that just made the Germans chances of winning uh, just about exactly zero I think we'll see what happens but I think the headquarters comes back but it has to be on a unit that's identical now I don't know if that means as I think about it I don't recall whether that means armor which case it can show up on the Tiger or if it had to be another Panzer IV we'll see what happens I've got another barrage but I don't know if I want to use it because well look there's a mm, here hmm I think we'll wait or can I ooh can I click skip yes I can all right cool I don't know if we got anything else to do I don't know if anybody can reach out and touch anybody from here no line of sight now there's something to discuss what we're seeing here those yellow arrows say hey you can move into these hexes which isn't true actually he'd have to mount up but if I had selected another unit that could move then that would be yeah you can go here and uh, the highlighted hexes the hexes that are not dark are where you have a line of sight now if you take and say well what if this unit moved to here where well, you can see which would be N6 you can see his potential uh, line of sight if he moves to that hex that's pretty sweet he has no possible targets I think the mortar can fire here pick one it doesn't matter and perform he missed so we get a big whiff all right and I think we are done now this guy is operations complete but the rest of the crew here can still play if our chick gets drawn again this turn there's nothing else really to do now let's talk things I'd like to see one I think the dice are cool reminds me of my old days in board gaming which I think we've discussed already in a video uh, but I'd like an option to kill that off I'd like the options look I don't care I don't need to see the dice I want the game to run faster uh, just tell me whether I got a hit you know I'm good with that the other thing <clears throat> this uh, ops complete marker shows a handsome German officer saluting okay we're ops complete and that's fine you got to have a marker that so that you can tell what can play and what can't but we're using a German officer on this American unit now what that tells me is that this is really I mean really a 100% port because in board games when you have a counter count say you could have you need 200 counters you need 400 counters you need 600 counters you don't print counters that aren't necessary it's money so everybody gets the same ops counter and who cares well this is digital we could have an ops counter or ops complete counter that shows an American officer or an American sergeant or whatever and the Russians could have a Russian one and da 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 well anyway that's my uh, brief editorial by the way I don't think I showed you this the manuals accessible here not gonna get into it but there it is it's kind of cool 
All right, finish our activation. We drew an end turn. Drew another one. That makes it turn two. Whoa, we drew an end turn right off the bat. And it comes back to us. Well, we still don't have much to do. But we'll shoot the mortar. Well, no, we won't because we have a barrage. We're going to skip the barrage. Save it for later. The mortar will fire here. Select that. And perform. Miss. Now, you see how much time this is taken. Now, you know, the line of, you know, it, it could be, it could be, we could move faster without it. I don't know if they'll ever make that option. And believe me, it's not a deal killer. I like the game. Heck, I think I'm actually loving the game. But uh, it, it's, you know, one of those interface things that I get hung up on. <clears throat> Let's finish that activation. Now, they are screwed up. He has to make a command check. Everybody has to make a command check. And they're failing. All right, he didn't fail. <clears throat> he made his command check. He made his command check. No, it's not too bad, really. Failed his rally. Made his rally. All right, everybody's rallied up over there except for the tiger. That breaks my heart. All right, we get an opportunity fire. We will take it. And there's a SDKFZ251 reduced or one with a heavy machine gun. Uh, we'll shoot at the guy who is packing a heavy machine gun support weapon. Confirm. Here they come. And... Well, that's interesting. That doesn't look right. Something, Something's not quite right there. Apparently, that needs some attention. I call that a bug. Because the guy I was told I could shoot at went that away. Hmm. Well, all right, this guy didn't shoot, so he gets to... Uh, I say it's a bug. I don't know. Maybe it's not. But, you know, we'll see. He gets to... At least he still can... He's available to shoot. And... Off we go. Rolls two. Two sixes. Disrupted and reduced. That was sweet. Two sixes. Wow. All right. His mortar's firing at our mortar. And the tiger, nope, okay, turns drawn. And he got drawn again. So command checks all around. Made it. Ooh. Ooh. They're moving pretty good for uh, <clears throat> a group that's lost its, uh, lost its headquarters. And he he even rallied. He did not. All right, the guys who are not ops complete begin moving. Note that I cannot use this guy. He's ops complete. Now I can engage with my parachute infantry and engage. <laughs> let's hope they one of them goes. Let's hope they both go there. <laughs> Here they come. Oh, we got a possible hit. And they didn't roll it off, so we'll disrupt that guy. Nice. Back to him. That's a very strange path it's plotting. I'm pretty sure I don't understand. We will fire with the guy with the support weapon. He misses. It's a big whiff. Now, why he did that? All right, here's the truth. Uh, see, pathing for the AI is kind of wonky. Uh, I've pointed that out to the guys at Lock and Load. They say they know. 
Remember, we're talking about early access game when it's released, and it's not even released yet. We're here to see how it works, and uh, in any case, multiplayer will clearly be my preferred way of playing. All right, we have fire missions. I get the most guys inside of a blast right there. Yeah, let's uh let's go ahead. Ooh, I think a one misses. So this is nice. Whoa, two possible hits against the mortar. Definitely two hits, he'll be reduced. Reduced and disrupted. Three possible hits against the tiger. Yeah, he's in trouble. And, yeah, that was, I'm telling you, this artillery is devastating. And, remember, we talked about replayability. What happened here was we smacked their headquarters, or the, you know, play, me as playing the uh, Americans, blasted their headquarters, so they've not been able to use their artillery. It's worked the other way for me, where the chit pulls worked in their direction, the headquarters moved up into position, and landed barrages in here that just didn't wipe out the defenses here, but cut them down by two-thirds. Well, that you know, it's a good idea to have a reserve to move in this direction, because it turned into quite the fight in here as the uh, armored infantry moved in. So... Hey, you know, random number generator, or as I prefer calling it, the random number god, uh, is a harsh, harsh mistress. All right, we still have things we can do. And we are performing operations, and we are going to fire at that guy. One possible hit. He didn't roll it off. We like seeing disrupted. Oh, it reduced him and disrupted him. Hmm, one hit. I'm not sure I understand that. We got one hit, which reduced and disrupted. That might be an uh oh, or it might be something I missed. I don't know. All right. Uh, other than that, we got the 57 millimeter and the mortar. So let's bring the mortar online. <clears throat> Let's see if we can pop their mortar. Possible hit. And he rolled it off. <clears throat> and we've got one last thing we can do. We can fire at this guy since he's not disrupted. Let's see if we can... Nope. Big misses. Big misses all around. He got three dice. He didn't roll a six. Too bad. Nobody else is in range. Everybody else has played. Let's finish the activation. All right, it's back to the Germans. Ooh, nicely done. Command check. Not so hot for you. And you're the, you're the woke. Look at that. Now, this guy should be running for the flank. Instead, he's running around in the corner because the pathing is a little wonky yet. Rally, okay, We've got rallies happening. They're really performing pretty good considering they've got no command, but they don't have a chance to win this. Without the barrages, they do not have a chance to win this. It's just the way it is. All right, he's already, he's ops complete, so my best choice is the uh, parry infantry with the heavy machine gun. Possible hit. Doesn't look like he rolled it off. It kind of got hidden behind the counter. So he's disrupted. That's going to be unfortunate for him. Look, he's figured out he needs to go that way. Very good, AI. And the mortar, which probably should have been his first choice to take a shot at that 57 millimeter, accomplishes nothing.
Well, it doesn't matter. He was ops complete anyway, so yeah, it doesn't matter. Pulled an end turn, and we go to turn five. And he gets another turn. See, that's two in a row. It's beautiful. This system is gorgeous. Uh, it, it makes me want to go off and buy the board game, but I don't have anybody to play against, so I won't. <laughs> all right, they're blowing command checks all over the place. And he rallied right there. Good for him. All right. He's attacking. He blew his roll. Did you see the little yellow thing going across there? That's where you could have spent a uh, fate point or two or whatever to intervene, to get try to change things. All right, this guy's in a bad spot. I mean, he's sitting here in front of all these guys that are, in, you know, improved positions, perfectly healthy, and... We've got all these possible shots against him. We're not going to come out of our improved position. We're just going to go ahead and shoot. Possible hit. He failed to failed to uh, roll it off. He's disrupted. All right. Well, that means this guy gets his shot. Ranged attack. Perform the action. Possible hit. And he is toast. Sweet. Not so nice if you're playing the Germans, but sweet. All right, we'll take his chance here. You take his shot. Perform operations. Rolls three dice. Does not get a hit. He's done. He gets his shot. Perform operations. Ranged attack. Possible hit. Rolled it off. Well, that can be scary. Good thing he's reduced. Well, we got another shot, though. We could shoot the mortar there. Form operations. And he failed his roll. Nice. Hey, I just saw something. The out-of-command marker is a U.S. guy. <laughs> Take that, Germans. You get U.S. counters out of... I just... I mean, I've seen it. I just didn't pay any attention. Your out-of-command marker is a U.S. marker. So there. There's some payback. All right. These guys are out of range. So we can't do anything about that. That means we finished the activation. Pulled an end turn. Pulled another end turn. Into turn six. And pulled an end turn right off the bat. And it comes back to us. Well, there's not much to do. So, uh, yeah, it's just not much to do. Form actions, fire at him, form operations, three dice and no hits. I should have used this guy first. That way, and this is a matter of tactics, there's still somebody who could move over here. I use this guy so if this guy was able to move up, he would still be able to play. So there's a, your, your tactical pointer for a guy who just made the mistake. And ranged attack. And push the button. Uh-oh. Two possible hits. He's toast. He couldn't, he couldn't solve that problem. Oh, three possible hits. He couldn't solve that problem. More than one he can't roll it off. He's going to get whacked. Uh, the mortar gets his shot at the enemy mortar and misses. And this moves along quite quickly once you've got a, you know, your brain wrapped around it. And uh, nothing left to do. Turn marker pulled. He did not get a turn. Comes back to us. And that my friends, makes my point. The playability or the replayability of this is astounding because you just don't know how the random number god is going to perform. I've got a hit. He's disrupted. And nobody else has anything to do. Finish the activation. Pull the end turn. 
He didn't get a turn at all, but he does now. Now he fails his command check. Fails his command check. And fails his command check. And the truth is, this is over. There's just nothing. The, the Germans have been screwed since they lost their headquarters. All right, we'll see what they do. And he failed his command check. And failed his command check. Oh, he passed. Okay, we have a rally there. And he passed his rally. Really, they ought to be withdrawing. He's firing. A long time ago withdrawing. I don't know. I have to go read the rules. I don't know if there's a formation morale. I don't think there is. Pulled an end turn. Pulled another turn. Goes straight to turn nine. And it comes back to us. And we'll just blast through it real quick. Missed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we've got for that round. So it comes to him. In turn nine, he passes command check, so he'll get to move. And he passes command check. And he passes command check. Nobody has to rally. And, yeah, the AI is really confused. Okay, we will fire with... 57 when he gets there we got two possible hits he's got no possible defense and he stepped into two inch gunfire and got whacked it's actually like two and a quarter inch whatever 25.4 millimeters per inch in turn in turn Turn 10, back to the Germans. He can dance and do his thing. And, well, look at that. He's going to take a shot at going by. He finally figured out how to get there. We missed. Big wolf. And turn. Comes to me. There's just about nothing left to do. Fire, perform operations, miss. Now I'm feeling kind of froggy here. I don't know if I can get away with this. This guy can move. Can he move out to here and assault? Well, he can try. Oh my god. Well, I've never done that before. And they ran them over. I was cool. Now I know how that works. I mean, I kind of knew how it worked, but I'd never seen it before. Finish the activation. Turn. Game over. The Americans have thwarted the German plans. You've been thwarted. So there you go. That's how the game plays. Now, it's early access. It's not even released yet. At the earliest, I think I said earlier, if I didn't, I think maybe Monday is a possibility. Um, and at least in this scenario, and it's the only one I've played, pathing is a little wonky yet. But here's the reality. This is where I'm going to live. I'm going to play in the single player and have fun with it. Maybe even do videos, assuming that the... Uh, that the AI gets its act together and gets its pathing done a little better. But against another human being, this bidding game, this poker game, this chit draw game, and is it's a hoot. I've played games like that before, years ago. It makes for great fun. So you get on comms, get on voice comms with your buddy. You get in here and, you know, your beverage of choice. Don't forget to put your chits in a dry container. And this is going to be great fun. Just great fun. Anyway, that's that. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed doing it. And uh, you can just bet you'll be seeing him again soon. And uh, I do appreciate you watching. I think I normally say appreciate you watching 
and I'll see you again soon. I got to get that right. <laughs> I'm getting old. Take care. See you again soon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you click on that picture of Very Young Waz, you'll be subscribed so you'll never miss another video. Then click on that bell notification button and please share and comment. See you again soon.